In mathematics, a concrete category is a category that is equipped with a faithful functor to the category of sets. This functor makes it possible to think of the objects of the category as sets with additional structure, and of its morphisms as structure-preserving functions. Many important categories have obvious interpretations as concrete categories. For example the category of topological spaces and the category of groups, and trivially also the category of sets itself. On the other hand, the homotopy category of topological spaces is not concretizable, i.e., it does not admit a faithful functor to the category of sets. A concrete category, when defined without reference to the notion of a category, consists of a class of objects, each equipped with an underlying set, and for any two objects A and B a set of functions, called morphisms, from the underlying set of A to the underlying set of B. Furthermore, for every object A, the identity function on the underlying set of A must be a morphism from A to A, and the composition of a morphism from A to B followed by a morphism from B to C must be a morphism from A to C. Definition A concrete category is a pair such that C is a category, and U. C set is a faithful functor. The functor U is to be thought of as a forgetful functor, which assigns to every object of C its underlying set, and to every morphism in C its underlying function. A category C is concretizable if there exists a concrete category, i.e., if there exists a faithful functor U, C set. All small categories are concretizable. Define U so that its object part maps each object B of C to the set of all morphisms of C whose codomain is B, and its morphism part maps each morphism G, B C of C to the function U, U U which maps each member F, a B of U to the composition G F, a C, A member of U. The counterexamples section exhibits two large categories that are not concretizable. Remarks it is important to note that, contrary to intuition, concreteness is not a property which a category may or may not satisfy, but rather a structure with which a category may or may not be equipped. In particular, a category C may admit several faithful functors into set. Hence there may be several concrete categories all corresponding to the same category C. In practice, however, the choice of faithful functor is often clear and in this case we simply speak of the concrete category C. For example, the concrete category set means the pair where I denotes the identity functor set set. The requirement that U be faithful means that it maps different morphisms between the same objects to different functions. However, you may map different objects to the same set and, if this occurs, it will also map different morphisms to the same function. For example, if S and T are two different topologies on the same set X, then and are distinct objects in the category top of topological spaces and continuous maps, but map to the same set X by the forgetful functor top set. Moreover, the identity morphism and the identity morphism are considered distinct morphisms in top, but they have the same underlying function, namely, the identity function on X. Similarly, any set with four elements can be given two non-isomorphic group structures, one isomorphic to, the other isomorphic to. Further examples any group G may be regarded as an abstract category with one object and one morphism for each element of the group. This would not be counted as concrete according to the intuitive notion described at the top of this article, but every faithful G set determines a faithful functor G set. Since every group acts faithfully on itself, G can be made into a concrete category in at least one way. Similarly, any post at P may be regarded as an abstract category with a unique arrow XY whenever XY. This can be made concrete by defining a functor D. P set which maps each object X to in each arrow XY to the inclusion map. 
The category REL whose objects are sets and whose morphisms are relations can be made concrete by taking U to map each set X to its power set and each relation to the function defined by noting that power sets are complete lattices under inclusion. Those functions between them arising from some relation R in this way are exactly the supreme in preserving maps. Hence REL is equivalent to a full subcategory of the category sup of complete lattices and their sub-preserving maps. Conversely, starting from this equivalence we can recover U as the composite REL subset of the forgetful functor for sup with this embedding of REL in sup. The category setop can be embedded into REL by representing each set as itself and each function f. X, Y is the relation from Y to X formed as the set of pairs, X, for all X, X, hence set up is concretizable. The forgetful functor which arises in this way is the contravariant power set functor set up set. It follows from the previous example that the opposite of any concretizable category C is again concretizable. Since if U is a faithful functor C set then COP may be equipped with the composite COP set op set. If C is any small category, then there exists a faithful functor P set COP set which maps a pressure effects to the coproduct. By composing this with the Yonader embedding Y, C set COP1 obtains a faithful functor C set. For technical reasons, the category BAN1 of Banach spaces in linear contractions is often equipped not with the obvious forgetful functor but the functor U1, BAN1 set which maps a Banach space to its unit ball. Counterexamples the category HTOP, where the objects are topological spaces and the morphisms are homotopy classes of continuous functions, is an example of a category that is not concretizable. While the objects are sets, the morphisms are not actual functions between them, but rather classes of functions. The fact that there does not exist any faithful functor from HTOP to set was first proven by Peter Freyd. In the same article, Freyd cites an earlier result that the category of small categories of natural equivalence classes of functors also fails to be concretizable. Implicit structure of concrete categories Given a concrete category and a cardinal number n, let un be the functor C set determined by un equals n. Then a sub-functor of un is called an nary predicate and a natural transformation un u an nary operation. The class of all nary predicates and nary operations of a concrete category, with n ranging over the class of all cardinal numbers, forms a large signature. The category of models for this signature then contains a full subcategory which is equivalent to C, relative concreteness. In some parts of category theory, most notably Topper's theory, it is common to replace the category set with a different category X, often called a base category. For this reason, it makes sense to call a pair where C is a category and U a faithful functor CX a concrete category over X. For example, it may be useful to think of the models of a theory with n sources forming a concrete category over SETN. In this context, a concrete category over set is sometimes called a construct.